Good morning. We just pulled up to the hardware store because today is paint day. I am so excited. This has been a long time coming for me just to be able to like paint a room. I was telling Zach not too long ago, I was like, I just want to paint a room or like tile a room or do some kind of home project. So I am so excited to be doing this, but I we have to stop at the hardware store because I need a few things. We have all the paint, we have a paintbrush, we have drop cloths, we have all of that, but I need to go in here. I need to get matte wax. I need to get some roller covers. I want to get a little mini roller and then I need to get putty because we are going to take down the curtains and I need to fill in any holes or anything like that before painting. So that is what I need to get here at the hardware store and then I can get started on the room. I cannot wait to show you guys the paint color we picked out. It's going to look amazing in there. Before I go paint the room, I'm actually going to do the wax seal, which so many of you advised me to do. So I'm taking your advice and I'm going to seal the bed just to keep it from you know uh, getting further damaged or by water uh, termites anything like that we want to really protect it and make sure it lasts a long time and it doesn't you know disintegrate over time so I'm gonna seal it I picked up this paste finishing wax I hope that this is good I'm gonna do a little tester just to make sure it's what I want to go with because I'm nervous about it but this should keep it very matte and just kind of keep the the wood and the vibe as it is I'm hoping it says on the back that you want to make sure that the surface is clear of any dust or debris so I'm just taking a paintbrush that's brand new and just kind of dusting and then I also have a rag that I can kind of dust as well so I'm going over the entire bed and making sure it is dust free <laughs> helping me yeah we're getting excited yes we're getting the room all cleaned up Zach has been cleaning the entire room getting everything out of here and I can just get in here and paint we're not gonna need that anymore cuz I'm building a whole mud room area right here it's gonna be amazing you don't even know the vision no but it's gonna be good I know it will. <laughs> you tired yeah I need a we don't have a drill uh, screwdriver a drill right now so. well you could wait we can wait for it it's fine okay. it'll just take an extra minute all right painting. I am so excited. I have been waiting for this day. Ooh, the broom fell. I have been waiting for this day for so long. I cannot wait to get this color on the walls, get the bed back brought in here. It is so hot. I am sweating. I also got the light fixture. I have waxed the headboard and baseboard. So hopefully we can get the bed back in here later today. I've done a little bit of like that annoying work just to kind of like it needs to get done sort of thing. I'm also going to wax the door. The door is a raw wood and hasn't been waxed yet. So when I'm done painting the room either today or tomorrow, I will wax the door. Color we went with Jackson Antique, which it almost felt fitting. Like we almost had to go with it because I mean, come on, Jackson Antique. Jackson, and I love antiques. I love this color, especially in person. It pulls a lot more of like an olive tone where I love the other colors too. This was super, super hard, but I felt like with the contrast of the raw wood and the Jackson Antique, it just looked absolutely beautiful. So we decided to go with an eggshell finish for the walls and a satin finish for all of the trim. Having the different finishes is gonna kind of help separate the color color even though it's the same color. So I'm also going to do the mudroom area in that satin finish and you'll see what I mean the further we get into this project. But for now, let's get Jackson Antique on the walls. <laughs> Also, another huge thank you to Miller Paint. They are making this room makeover even better by gifting us the paint for this room. Thank you, Miller, for the paint. This room is gonna be so much better because of it. Oh, it looks so good. Can't find the extender, we're gonna need to find that. But Jackson Antique, I was reading on the paper, is a part of their historic collection, which I've heard a lot of 
companies bringing back these historic colors. So that is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Uh, Today we are continuing painting the room. I am so over the moon with the way this room is already turning out. We haven't even really gotten into the pretty stuff, but just the color alone has made the biggest difference in here. And we're not even done. I still have to do the trim. I originally was thinking, oh my gosh, is this going to be too light? And I was really starting to question my decision and thinking we should have gone with that darker tone, which was the aged cedar shake. But as we started painting and seeing the difference between the white walls that was in here and the Jackson Antique, I realized this is the color. This is the perfect color. Seeing it next to the wood, it's so beautiful. On camera, I feel like it pulls a little bit more gray, but in person, it's definitely like a muddy green tone. Still neutral, still very neutral. That is exactly what I wanted. As I mentioned, this room is a bit more of a utility room, so I really wanted to find a paint color that was complementary to the space, and I think this color is perfect. I am so, so in love with it. And we do plan on bringing a little bit of color in here. So I think it's going to tie everything together. The paint is pretty much done. There's a little bit of touch up paint and a little bit on the baseboards that I need to finish. But for now, because we need to add a baseboard and possibly trim out the windows, I'm going to take a break and wax the, take a break from painting <laughs> and wax the door so that we can get it back up on the hinges. We took it off so that the painting would be a little bit better, but I'm using this paste finishing wax in natural. I use this for the bed and I love this. It's really easy to work with. And what I really like about it is a couple of things. When you have a raw wood, it goes on, it looks like it darkens it a little bit, but when it dries, it looks like the raw wood, which is what we were really worried about when putting a finish on, on it. So good. So if you ever strip a bed or a piece of furniture, and you want that raw wood look, highly recommend this. All right, so I just go right into the wax. I probably should be wearing gloves, but I'm not. <laughs> so, you know, that's all right. So I'm just gonna go in, grab a little bit on the rag, and then I just use circular motions. When you first put it on, you're gonna notice that it looks a little bit wet, but it dries completely like how it looked. The other really nice thing is if it dries before you get, you know, back to that space or you didn't know you did that space, you can feel the wax. So you know that you've already put wax there. So that's also what's really great about working with this product. All right, while I am waxing the door, Zach is gonna change out the light fixture. So this is the current light fixture, which just has got to go. <laughs> I found one on Amazon and I mentioned it to you guys about it possibly being too small, but I actually kind of feel like that gives a more European utility room vibe. So we're gonna put it up, see how we like it. This is the light fixture. It is a very, very dark brown, almost black. At first you guys know that's like my favorite color to paint but at first I was like oh like it probably should be black because we have the doorknobs and some black accents however I am painting a furniture piece for this space that is that dark 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 brown almost black so then I was like wait that's gonna be fine I'm a little nervous about being it, it being small but like I said when I was researching different like European or English cottage vibes they have some smaller light fixtures in some of their spaces. So I thought for this space, it could really work. Also, if we hang it a little bit lower, I think that'll help with it appearing a bit bigger. I'm excited. You can kind of see the vibe with the door, with the paint, with the light. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, well, I can't reach. Oh uh, yeah. Does it look too small? It looks oh, low. It too low? I feel like- Well, I mean, I have a couple inches. I know, but still. I think it has to be low. Come, come and walk under it and see if you'd hit your head. No, with especially with a couple of inches. Yeah. I think it's got to be right here because if we go too high, the light fixture is going to look smaller. Yeah. So I think it needs to be. I think that's good. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Right. Do you like it? Do you think it's cute? Do you think it's like? 
cottage European cottage. Yeah, it looks. I like it. Okay. Cool. Watch your eyes. Let's see if it works. Oh no! <laughs> no! 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 All right. Take two. Yes. How do you feel? <laughs> You might hear my nephew in the background. He's kind of running, but we're to a place where I have the painting done. We got the light fixture up and I just have to see some pretty. So we're gonna bring in the headboard and the footboard and just take a look. We might set the bed up, even though I don't have the rug yet. I do still need to do some finishing touches on the other baseboard. We need to build the mud room. We need to get the window coverings in here. But I just like, I have to see some, something pretty. So Zach is bringing it to bed. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's bring in the headboard. Get all the way to that far corner. Does I get your Maybe even, oh no, actually this will be fine. Kind of work. We'll sit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we have one light bulb in the light fixture and I need to straighten it out. It's still a little bit crooked, but you kind of get a glimpse of what the space is gonna look like. We don't even have the window coverings. We don't have the rug. We don't have hardly anything in here. It just looks amazing. First, I have to say I am so sorry about the audio. It's kind of windy and the audio in this series isn't going to be the best. But I wanted to apologize because I know in the last video it was really kind of loud and obnoxious and I apologize for that. But I am now starting the dresser that's going to go next to the bed in the room. So I found this dresser at St. Vinny's. It's a local thrift shop here in like the Eugene. It might even be up in like Portland area, but it's a thrift shop and it's my favorite. Anytime we come home, I always go there to get art books and really anything I need from a thrift store. They have the best stuff, the best thrift shop I've found. And also I feel like it has ruined me when it comes to thrift shops in Arizona. Thrift shops in Arizona do not compare to especially St. Vinny's here. But anyway, I got this dresser for $50, $49.99 no sales tax in Oregon, so it was $49.99. I am going to give it a light sand. I'm gonna try to remove the decal down here, and then I'm gonna take off the knobs and put new knobs on here. I'm gonna paint this a dark, dark, dark brown, almost black. I bet you already knew that because it's my favorite paint color. And it also is gonna match the light fixture in the room really, really well. I was contemplating putting a newer piece in there and kind of having the juxtaposition from the antique to a new piece. However, this one is $49.99. I couldn't pass it up. But you guys, that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this little update and second episode of this bedroom slash utility room makeover. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys the completed dresser. Also, hopefully we'll be starting on the mudroom. So there's a lot more to come. I am over the moon with how everything is already turning out. The bed, the dresser, we have so much more to do and we'll be decorating very very soon let me know what you guys think and i will see you in a couple days with another bye